Yo, yo, what's good? We're back again. We're back in a different location this time. The trick I have in mind for today's unlock series is, uh, you know, it required a little bit of a, uh, a taller ledge, I guess I would say, because uh, the trick that I picked, I just like to do, I don't know, just on taller ledges. It just feels more comfortable popping up into it. The other ledges, it, it's not that it's low. It's just, I don't know. I just prefer a slightly higher ledge for this trick. So we are at Newtown Skate Park. I don't know if you guys recognize this from my Instagram and shit. This is the local park I used to skate before Middletown Park got built. So this was the OG local, or one of them, I guess. There was two, but this was the one I liked the, be the best before uh, Middletown. We out here, it's a little wet. We had some rain yesterday. I'm still a little wet this morning here, but uh, I don't think it'll be a problem. I mean, the ledge looks all right, right? Yeah, the ledge looks all right. A little wet, but we'll get through it. No big deal. We already know. I'm just out here, you know, risking it all in the uh, in, a, in a bright white hoodie with a hot cup of coffee. You know what? What could go wrong? But it will be okay. But yo, first off, I want to start by saying just thank you guys. The YouTube channel has been popping. I think we grew like double of what it's been for the last like two years. I, I was sitting at like 2,000 followers for years just because I didn't post nothing really. And uh, But after two videos, we're up over 4,000 followers. So I just want to say thank you. That's crazy. All the feedback has been super positive too. I've been getting hit up by people. Dude, I'm stoked you're doing YouTube. So I just want to start off by saying thanks. You know, you guys keep watching the vids. I'm going to keep making them. Um, but we're going to keep it rolling, man. It's been fun. And I got a couple other ideas for videos in the works. That, that should be pretty sick. So I think it'll be good. So like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see where this shit takes us. So today's video, uh, it's an unlock series. So the trick I decided on is Nolly inward heel front side nose slide. We're going to do it on this ledge right here. Try to at least. I have not done one of these in a minute. I like this trick, man. That's how I'm going to go about like picking picking what tricks I'm going to do for these unlock series. You guys had a ton of suggestions and I can't please everybody, but uh, it's a lot of suggestions. I can't pick, you know, we'll, we'll get to them. We're, it, this series can be endless, you know. This one stood out to me because I do like this trick a lot. I do it every once in a while. I've had a few on film. I think the first time I ever did this trick, or at least filmed this trick, was in like a mystery video. I did it in a line out in Cali somewhere. The last one I think I filmed was in my Santa Cruz video part. I, it, it might have been my last trick or one of the, the ending tricks, I think. It's at this uh, outledge in Princeton, New Jersey. I did Nolly with your front nose. So we're gonna revisit this trick today. We're gonna see how long it takes me, uh, and it'll, it'll be the process of me kind of relearning this trick, all right? So we'll get to it. Selfie tray flip. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm not doing it again. I kind of think that ledge has seen better days. It's uh, rusty and, and wet, and it looks bad. But it'll be all right. We'll make it work. Put some wax on that shit. We'll get it, we'll get it nice and uh, buttered up, you know? Damn, it's cold. It's a little windy, too. But we're going to get into some warm-up tricks that I would do before leading up to the Nolly Humor Heel Nose Slide. So I'll probably do Nolly Front Nose. Nolly heel front nose. I, I honestly don't really like Nolly inwards by themselves. I either like to pop over something, Nolly inward heel over something, or like Nolly inward heels on flat ground are not my are not my favorite. But we're gonna get to the Nolly nose slide, Nolly heel front nose slide, and um, see how that goes. man but i'm good or i'm glad the wind is going this way so i'm, I'm going with the wind not against it that would be rough but it's a cold breeze it's a cold breeze let's get a now heel front nose i'll film one here and i'll film one from the other side too we'll do two of them that was actually first tee pretty hyped on that can't land them all one from each angle um, the second one was for some reason more difficult the first one was first tee and then you know but i guess that's how it goes you can't, you can't get them all can't land them every time but we're gonna get into the nolly inward heel front nose now um the trickiest thing about this trick to me is like you have to pop super far away from it so that you your board carries 
not only you more heel like carries over towards the nose, but you can't go too far away or you miss and you can't go too close or you land in almost like a front side board slide. Yeah, so for example, you want to pop almost like out here so that you not only you more heel over towards the ledge. If you come too close, you end up landing on top, too far away, you miss. So it's like, you gotta really time it right so that you pop at the right spot and the board lays right into a nose slide. But yeah, I haven't done one in a minute, so we'll, we'll, we'll get into it and see how many tries it takes me. Let's get it. Man, I already got some on my white hoodie, man. like banging around between my ankles dude it hurts ah missed again done it to fakie i've always done it back out to regular but i think it's because i'm getting in and sticking we got it we got it we got it it's that distance away awful shot I get in sometimes like underturned and I or underturn and I slide out, overturn and then I stick. It's just about getting in that right one, dude, being able to come out. There's a few too that I got in like too late on the ledge and kind of slipped off the ledge. We got it though. It's coming. I hate when tricks come with like windows of opportunity too, like. So many, like I was getting in, one after another, getting in, getting in, getting in, almost making it, and now I feel like it's gone. So we gotta get back in that groove. took off the long sleeve that was underneath and we're gonna fuck I keep cursing we're gonna get this right here I feel like sometimes I gap out so much of the ledge that when I land on it I'm only sliding like this much so I'm like on and off and I'm not ready for it Weird. Mix 
It's definitely harder than, uh, I don't know if it's harder than I remember. I don't even, I haven't done one in so long. All I needed was a little bit of water. All right, we got it. Kind of took a while. Um, definitely took a lot longer than the cable bag nose blunt. I kind of figured that going into this cable bag nose blunts, people were like, wow, that's your first episode or whatever. But going into that, I, I know I can do that trick fairly quickly, which isn't the point of this. The point of this series is to kind of relearn or revisit tricks and just see if I still got them basically, you know? It doesn't matter how quick or how long they take. Is like, if I get it, then like that's that's a successful miss, you know what I mean? And kind of just to show you guys the process of it all. But yeah, we got it. I mean, it took, a, it took a little while. I think the hardest thing about this trick today was figuring out the distance away from the ledge. I think the fact that this ledge is so short actually made it more difficult because I had to pop at a specific spot to land with enough of the ledge to slide on kind of. Uh, there was sometimes I would get in at the very end of the ledge and just like slip off. I think that if the ledge was a little bit longer, I might have had an easier time doing it. The height's good though. I like popping this trick up into it. it definitely helps me, you know, build momentum up into the trick. Yeah, it was, it was tough. I think that my board too, uh, my board and shoe combo, I need, to, I need to put a new board and shoe combo on right now because my shit's just old. I've been skating it for a long time. I'm not one of those guys who switches a board like every day. I'm definitely not. Same with shoes. I skate my shoes until they're like socked out and I skate my boards till they feel soggy, you know? But that's how I'm at that point right now. So I gotta put some new new, uh, new shoes, new board uh, coming soon. But yeah, this was Unlock Series episode two. Nolly Emerald Heel Front Nose. We got it. Took a little bit, but we figured it out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, like and subscribe and tell your friends I'm YouTuber, man. I keep saying that, but like the, the channel's growing so fast that I feel like people, people are enjoying it. So let them know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.